Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In the series, we're taking a look at Blu-ray. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to burn some software. Now, once you have the drive installed inside your computer and you have the software installed, you have a couple of ways to do this on a Windows machine. To get started, you can simply insert a blank disk into your computer, and then the computer will pop up a message asking what you want to do with it. Now, with the CyberLink software we installed, it gives us the option of simply pulling the files we want to burn into an empty folder and then burning using an option on the top of the window. You can also manually open up your DVD burning software and then do this using the UI. It'll give you an option of dragging things from one window to the other and configuring things the way you want. In our case, we're going to open up Media Suite. We're going to choose the Data and Backup option. Then we're going to choose Make a Data Disk. It'll ask us what type of media we want to use, DVD, CD, or Blu-ray disk. In this case, we're going to choose BD for Blu-ray. Now remember, if you're using a standard Blu-ray disk, you'll be limited to 25 gigabytes of data, unless you go for the dual layer disk, which is 50 gigabytes. Now your drive may or may not support dual layer, so be sure to check before you buy the drive in case you do want to do 50 gigabytes at a time. Somewhere in your disk burning software, you should see a gauge indicating about how much space you have left. We've got it on the bottom of the software right here. Once you have all the files you want included in the data disk, you can choose the Burn Now option. With Media Suite, you can also burn Blu-ray movie discs using the Power Director component inside. From the main Media Suite menu, choose Video, then Create a Video Disc, and then choose Blu-ray Disc. Power Director will launch and allow you to start pulling in your clips, and then it'll burn them out as a movie disc. Then you'll be able to use the Blu-ray disc you burned on the Blu-ray player attached to your television set and watch it on a big screen. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you how to add the Blu-ray drive to your system and install the software. And for the show notes on this and all the other parts in this series, don't forget to go to butterscotch.com.